Missy, walk. Walk. Good girl. Oh, ah, good. If you look over there, all those dark stripes are uh, where uh, they took a tractor and a, and a big disc or a chisel plow and uh, rubbed out the, the uh, erosion gullies and made it look like they weren't losing that topsoil to erosion. It's an illusion. They do it on pretty much all the hill farms every winter. Of course, if they don't do it, you know, in three years they got a gully they can't drive a tractor across. So, so they have to do something. I'm not sure that. I mean, you know, that it's, it's not going to last very long. You know, all, that, all that topsoil goes downhill every year. They lose tons and tons of soil off a field like that. According to the IPCC, they'll lose a hundred times as much soil off that field in a year as uh, the amount of topsoil that could be generated by biological activity within a year. And this is, this is one of the many things that is embedded in our culture. You know, when, when they talk about addressing climate change, you know, they don't talk about this. They just don't talk about it. You know, we talk about something else. We talk about building renewable energy thingies making jobs but that's only just one little piece of it. and this there's no possibility of uh, humans to continue to feed themselves if we send all the topsoil to the Gulf of Mexico which is what's downhill from here you know it goes from here into one stream and then another stream and then and, and that second stream dumps into the Missouri River which goes down dumps into the Mississippi and then it's in the Gulf of Mexico and this topsoil once it leaves here you know it'll it'll never stop on land surface again there's no beavers or anything out there to cause it to filter out in the creeks so once the topsoil leaves these fields it's next stops the Gulf of Mexico since most of the topsoil that leaves these fields is, is uh, saturated with various kinds of poisons, uh, excess nitrogen fertilizer and phosphorus fertilizer and, and poisons, just, you know, Roundup and all that shit. Um, once it gets to the Gulf of Mexico, why then there's just this huge dead spot, you know, nothing lives there. You know, the, 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 all the excess nitrogen causes... Uh, but, uh, microbial life to bloom and then the microbial life blooms and the dies and and in its in its uh, in its rotting away it it uh, uses up all the oxygen and so nothing else can live except the anaerobic things. We have one whole system we have here that, that includes the cars and the trucks and the airplanes and the tractors and the annual grain fields and the, and the giant computer 
server farms and all of the rest of it, and the, and the oil wells and the coal fields and the, and the uh, uh, huge uh, flooded river valleys that provide you know, hydroelectric power. And every place you look, the system creates death for everything but humans in the objective of creating uh, resources which humans mostly want. There's some resources we need. I mean, we need food. We don't need, you know, soybeans in, you know, by tens of thousands of acres. We need, you know, energy to keep our bodies alive. This is not the only way we could do it. And, and you know, as I was saying earlier, you know, mostly what it makes is money and we, we uh, money uh, mediates our every need and our every desire. We can't get the things we want without money. We can't uh, just produce them directly. We've forgotten how. Very few Americans can even get a drink of water without money. Almost no American can go to the grocery store without money first for the trip. Now, I'm not talking about for what they get at the grocery store. I mean, if you want to go to the grocery store, you have to, you have to give somebody money so you can have a car and you have to give somebody else money so that you can have insurance. You have to give somebody else money so that you can have tires. You have to give somebody else money so that you can have fuel. We ain't even got to the store yet. And then once we go to the store, why, uh, we uh, have to have money so that we can get the things we need. And like I said, we have to have money so we can get a drink of water. We can't, you know, you turn on the, the, the uh, uh, faucet and the water runs out, but it runs through a meter. And if you didn't pay your water bill last month, it doesn't run out. We can't get anything we need except as mediated through money. And uh, it makes us uh, a very dependent people. She'd like to walk down the middle of the road. I'd like her to walk down the right-hand lane since we drive on the right in this country. There's those, there's those two fine-looking chestnut horses up there on the hilltop. Again, we're back to that spot. Missy, trot, trot up, trot, Missy, trot, 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 Missy, trot, 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 up you go, no, I did that wrong, that's Debbie's fault, okay, trot up, let's go, trot, 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 trot up, Missy, trot, up, up, get up, trot, 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 come on, trot, 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 Missy, trot, good girl, there we go, good girl. to hold the camera while she trots. I hold it for the best I can. I know it's just shaking the heck out of you. They're standard bred buggy horses. They try it every place they go. They, they, they walk on, you know, out the driveway. As soon as they hit the public road, they trot and they trot nonstop as far as they're going. They're bred for that. They're real long legged. Over a lot of ground, they trot 15 mile an hour. And, uh, you know, she's nowhere near as tall as they are. 
you know, she takes her steps as, fa as fast as they do, you know, so many steps per minute. She couldn't begin to cover the kind of ground per minute, hour they do. Here come these, here come these chestnuts are running over here. They're going to screech to a halt there at the fence corner. They got that moved down. <laughs> I can hear cars off in the distance, miles away. Nobody ever thinks about how noisy our mechanized culture is. Boy, it's just an endless racket. Big old deep gully down there. A little water down at the bottom. If there was beavers, they could fill that all the way up here to the roadside. That water would soak into the... To the uh, into the ground, feed the soil, feed the, feed the world. You can't tell if that car's coming this way or going the other way. It's coming this way. Pick up truck. Big old Dooley, Dooley Dodge. That's the guy that's got all those horses that we looked at down the road there. Yes, that's behind us, but that bunch we were looking at earlier on the way out. Most of the people out here, especially the horse people, will slow down when they see you. You know, they don't want to spook your animal. And you can't tell from where I'm sitting back here, but I'm waving them on. Tell them, come on, she's all right. You know, she's uh, she's handling uh, traffic real well. I'm not too concerned. I'm going to take her out on the blacktop here one day. I don't know how soon. Depend on the mood I'm in and everything else. Well, I hold the lines, they just almost non-stop slip through my fingers just a little bit and a little bit and a little bit. So I have to keep moving my hands back forward. I don't know if that's just my ways or... Mostly I just hold them in one hand. I, I don't know if you can see that or not. And then I can rock that hand to my right or my left, and that'll uh, be enough to steer. Sometimes I hold them in both hands just because it's easier. Mostly I use my left hand to drive and my right hand to run the camera or whatever else I'm doing. She gets difficult. See that mailbox and that flag spooking her. That flag there is moving, and it, it you know, it, it things like that spook her. That's one of the places she stopped on the way out. We're heading home, so she doesn't stop so easy. Now I'm going to shake you all up real good here. Shake it up, baby. Twist and shout. You heard that one, right, Missy? Trot up. Trot hip. Trot. Missy, trot, 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 trot. Up you go. Hip, hip. Trot, trot, trot. There, good girl, good girl. Trot up, trot, trot. Go on, trot, 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 trot. Trot up, trot up.
Trot up, 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 trot, hip, trot. Miss trot, 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 trot. Go on, trot up, trot up. There we go, good girl. Trot up, 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 up. Trot, trot, trot. Up you go. Trot, trot, trot. Trot on. Trot on. Go on. Go on. Trot, trot, trot. There, good girl. Hey, walk, walk, easy, good girl. I don't want to make her trot down this hill because it, that puts a lot of load on her back end when the, uh, you know, the, the weight of the cart pushes on her back end going down this hill. I told you about that earlier. This is, that right there, that's the cart brakes. You know, they make them with, with uh, modern style brakes, but, but this is the original traditional brakes. And, so, if I make her trot downhill and, you know, she, gravel rolls on her foot or something, she could lose her footing. A lot of them, Abraham used to particularly, Missy's not so much into it, but a lot of them will want to trot uphill because it, it lets them put more force into it and get, over, get up there quicker. far hill on, on over here on the other side here is pretty darn steep and, and uh, so she'll have to she'll have to pull hard to pull 180 pounds of me in this cart up, up that hill you know she's not lifting 180 pounds straight up so she's not doing 180 pounds of work for you know however what the time you know she's lifting me at a at a half an angle so you know she's doing she goes you know 10 feet forward she's done 90 pounds times 10 feet times whatever the time is not 180 pounds times 10 feet There's a low water bridge creek. There's the side. Now she's pulling up this hill. You see how she's putting her heart into it. She's got a good heart.
she's a good girl, Missy. Yeah, good girl. Yes, you are. You are fine. Same field, baby. We've been here before. Let's go. Uh, to go. Okay, Missy. Trot. Trot up. Trot up. Good girl.